I'm a taxi driver in New York City, and it's a stressful job. You need to help me uh, relax and just have an easier job each day. Okay, I've got something that you can give all of your, uh, you know, your patrons. And that's a pleasure hug. <laughs> How is okay, that going to so, help me? Well, no, so once, like, you know... It's really pleasurable. You, once you've finished your drop-off, you know... Then they say, oh, that... That'll be like 30 bucks for you, sir. <laughs> then they say, oh, okay, How would you like a pleasure hug? And then they just give you a really, really nice cuddle and say thank you, and that's it. Nothing sexual about it. Right. Well, I think that's where you're going wrong. I think there should be something sexual. Because you're talking oh, about... Oh, so when Santa Claus fucking jizzes down fucking things, <laughs> oh, oh, that's too much. But as soon as... <laughs> Probably, driver, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do. Right, kids, you register on Santa's lap. Like taxi driver. <laughs> Anyway, Mr. Taxi Driver, right? You get you get quite wound up in the in the front seat of that taxi. You've got idiots in the back of the taxi. You've got idiots yeah. in front of you driving round. You know, it just it's annoying. One way that I tend to unwind is um is an orgasm. Anyway, onto the cards now. That, what I'm proposing for you, Mr. Taxi Driver, is the head chair. <laughs> so you'll be you'll be driving your taxi, um, you know, up between your legs, obviously. Comes a head uh, to provide head in the chair. Job that done. Is, that, Relax. That is dangerous. I didn't have, say you it wasn't dangerous. Received, have you ever received blowjob while driving? Is that it? <laughs> oh, here I'll go with something and let's see what we got. Uh, Sorry, is there is there no sales pitch to go with this? <laughs> Not really. Don't worry, I'll throw something together. Okay, so oh wait, did he have something he threw down? Yeah. Oh, the, the milk thermometer. Hmm. All right, I see that right. I guess you in now. I'm if that wins, I'm leaving. <laughs> How can it not Anyone win? Anyone else? Yeah, I'll go and throw something together. So, um... Throw something together? He hasn't even got a product. No, I never do. I make it up <laughs> as I go. All right, so you're always worried as a taxi driver. All of that stress that's coming to you is from people, like, first either being dicks or really being dicks and taking a ride, but they're not actually paying. You need a way to stop them, but if they run behind you, they could be in your blind spot. So what do I have for you? I have uh, the TV net. You can see uh, all around your cab. Okay. They try and run for it. Whoosh, net. See how I made that sound effect? That's how it sounds. That has nothing to do with the actual product, but I just wanted you to hear the sound. Anyway. That sounds cool. Yeah, so now they're not going to run away. They're not going to... That stress is gone now. It's like, oh, I hope I get paid today. You're going to get paid. They try and run. Hmm. Net. But what if they have no money? Net. Then, <laughs> but then what? Then they don't. Then you bring them to the police office, the p police station, and be like, "Hey, this guy didn't pay me, and I'm a taxi driver." And I'll be like, "Is this true?" And they'll and be get like, done for kidnapping. Uh, that, no, and they'll sounds, be like, "Well, I'm glad to see." That sounds like more work. That sounds TV. like more work. Okay. Yeah. Well, then you, you run them over with your relax. cabs. What I need. <laughs> what I need is a pleasure hug. It's always ah, cozy and nice. See. Unbelievable. Pregnant woman. Boom. Sell me something. <laughs> she used a pleasure slime on you. Oh, oh. God. Okay. Please don't. Uh, <laughs> a handle and a hose. Okay. <laughs> Do I need to explain mine? Wow. No, no, it's fine. Okay. All right. Problem what solved. You need, what you need is a bed and some jelly. Ooh, I like a jelly bed. <laughs> Me. More than the handle hose? You shove it in once and suck out with the second half? It's great. Ugh. To get a pregnant woman, you need a bed and some jelly. No, he, that's his job. He's a Makes pregnant sense. woman. There's logic there. There's logic. What? There's logic in mine. Yeah. Look, say you don't want the baby. Shove that thing in, suck it out. Say oh, you... Whoa! Oh, I'm <laughs> yeah, see. watching this. Say, say you're about to give birth and you want it out faster. Stick the handle in, suck out the baby. It's a win-win. Mm. Oh, I could I could milk myself using them. Oh, there you go. See the handle hose, oh. great product. You just have to, you know, you know that's it's, you know you don't want to abort your own baby with a handle. I'm looking baby. forward to Rich's most of all. I have to say, <laughs> is no, this going to be how he hates women? It can be either. It can be one of two <laughs> things. It can be a thing that's quite useful, or it could be something that isn't quite useful. Which one would you prefer? Something useful. Okay, so you want something useful? Okay, I can yeah. do that. 
okay so you know you you're gonna get fat it's got to be said you're gonna be pregnant well but, don't, don't listen to him you're beautiful names. thank you you know oh, you, are, you are beautiful, you are beautiful. okay your boobs will expand oh fill they in, already have fill in with luscious <laughs> luscious milk oh yeah well you know <laughs> and it's a chocolate oh. baby <laughs> wow that's extremely racist what you what? said it's a chocolate baby What's wrong with that? Yeah, that's what they say, well, isn't it? You no, you say it's a, it's a black baby. It's you what he <laughs> says. You say what? Well, you say it's a black baby. Uh, no, I think I'm you sorry. just say I'm, it's a I'm baby. Colorblind. I'm pretty sure that's what you say. Oh dear. I don't think you refer to it by color. Oh, here comes the black baby. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys say? Oh, here comes my baby. Yeah. I oh, pity the fool. <laughs> right. Okay. Well. Enough of the uh, the racist comments, Sir Night Owl. You what? need, you need, the future cape. Okay, so this this cape is a, is patented. Okay, so you can't get it from anyone else, just me. Um, I patented. You wouldn't it, want I, to. No, but um, <laughs> you know, you can, you can do multiple things. That you can put it over your like belly, and it will tell you that if your kid's gonna be, you know, a little bit on the slow side. <laughs> See, if so, you're really gonna want this handle hose. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> one time deal, me and Jordan. It's a, you know, a two time product. <laughs> you, buy, you buy his and you get the handle and the hose free. <laughs> <laughs> don't, like the, don't like what's coming out. We can solve uh, it. <laughs> or or you can put it over your. You, can, you know, you can wear it like a shawl. And, um, you know, it will grow <laughs> with you. I'd probably go for the second one, actually, to be fair. Hmm. Right. Uh, Scott. Save me and my baby, please. I, I can absolutely <laughs> do that, right? As a pregnant woman, there's one thing that hurts more than anything else. Giving birth? Anal. No, before that bit, before that bit. You know, they're just the walking around all day with that big belly, you know, and you know, things... Fat are, people can do it. Yeah, but, it, you know, and I can vouch for this. The one thing that hurts the most, feet. Scott, are you pregnant? Now, your, feet, your feet hurt a lot when you're pregnant. Ask any... It's person that's what you have the bed for well interestingly you don't need that because you still got to get up and move He's around right. you know, the handle hose though you can deal with that well what you need to deal with this sponge socks <laughs> right i'm going to give it to the jelly bed i've had <laughs> enough of this I've had <laughs> enough. This, the sponge socks actually sound quite good i am looking for a babysitter all right I Not have the hose for a you. Bad babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the leash vest. Is this for the babysitter or to help Can get I a babysitter? Say something? You want me to put my babies on a leash? Yeah. That makes makes sense. I always well, put on a, a leash dog. when I was little. I am a dog I, after all. When I was a little child, you know, I'd, I'd try and run away. Boom. They slapped a leash on me. I ain't going anywhere. See, Same. Yeah, you'd have thought they'd left you. <laughs> See, I, mean, I had parents that loved me. But, so. but now you have a problem. Now you have to hold the leash, or just like watch it and make sure the kid still doesn't wander too far. Well, I can make it. No, you don't because you tie the leash to something. But now I'm gonna make or sure the they bed really bed don't bed. move at all with the glue patch. You just glue uh, them to the floor. No, no, no. Wow, baby doesn't move. All wow. that's bad. All that's bad. All what you need is a locker pocket. See, at least I'm nice enough to not make fun of other people's. Jesus. He's over there trying to sell you a Polly Pocket. <laughs> Rubber table. That little fucker is going to run into a table, crack his head open, but not this one, because it's rubber. I'll be he honest, having a like a two-year-old niece and a four-year-old nephew, he's right, those are fantastic. Exactly. <laughs> Just Ex get actually, it. when I was younger, I actually cracked my head open on a table. I would have loved uh, that table you. to have been rubber. The effects are still so, hurting yeah. him to this day. What? <laughs> Who are you? Where am I? <laughs> Just to get this clear, right? You want to tie my babies up. You want to stick them to the floor, and right. you want to hide them in your pocket. Well, no, you can also stick them to the <laughs> wall or ceiling. <laughs> babies love that kind of crap. They love being held. Oh, me, there you go. No, you can, no, you can even put my leash on a, you know, on a roof fan, and they can pretend they're Superman. I'm looking for an astronaut to join my fledgling. Looking for a product oh, for yeah, an astronaut. I thought it was, yeah, product for an astronaut. Oh, okay, yeah, I want you to fix up my astronaut with something good for space. What are you trying to do in space? Going to the moon? Are you going to further afield? Are you no, we're, going ju we're just going to go up, go up to space and just chill out for a little bit. Okay. And you're going to want 
a star tent. <laughs> like a normal <laughs> tent. And it protects you from the radiation and light from stars. And it's right. That's actually really fucking useful because there is a lot of radiation in space. Exactly. I'm assuming Not you're going to be in a rocket, star though. Ever since the moon landing, um, space flight has become more and more commercialized. It's about making money to fund those extra extra expeditions. You know, it's about having cameras up on the International Space Station to hear everything that a, an astronaut says or does. So with that, what I think you need to do is spruce up the old spaceship a little bit, the rocket. Um, so what I've got for you is the... Uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. The fashion radar. Um, <laughs> essentially, it's, you know, it's the usual radar uh, device. However, it's fashionable. Okay, and how is that going to help? It. What, how's that going to... But how is that going to help when, when the videos, commercialize, commercialize? When the videos come back, the, everyone will think, oh, wow, look at that radar. I really want one of those. You could start selling them. But that's not going to help my astronaut, is it? No, it's going to help your astronaut company. No, I, I just yeah. want to help my astronaut. You're going to need one of these, a toilet, and yeah. a desk. Because you, you're going to need a toilet in space. The toilet desk. And... You can poop in your desk. Yeah, toilet. exactly. Like and you can work, you can do whatever you want at your desk, play games. Tell him, Jordan, well, what have you got? I didn't know you Scott re rethought his, his strategy already. Well, what oh, I'm yeah, thinking... yeah, absolutely. I can oh, go again. Okay. Um, gets a bit, gets a bit um, bored, boring up in space. Um, certainly the travel is a bit of a pain. So what I've got for you is the, uh, the freedom pipe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking long term. I'm thinking what your reward is when you get back to make it all worthwhile. And that is okay. victory chocolate. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> That's a lot of chocolate. If you have a crew with you, knowing they're going to come back for that, it's not worth causing a mutiny. Because otherwise they won't get their victory chocolate. Toilet desk. So I've got a, to I've got a choice between a toilet desk, um, a some victory chocolate, yeah. a freedom pipe, or... Fashion radar. Or a fashion yeah. radar, yeah. And it, uh, or a star tent. Star tent. Your, rock, your rocket's, a, his rocket's a star tent. I mean, it's going to cost me a lot to get into space. So that rules out the lead star tent. Oh, fuck off. I hope you radiate. <laughs> <laughs> you are radiating some salt now, sir. Fuck you. That's what be said. Um, the toilet desk... I've got a toilet already on my rocket, so... Wow. Sorry, fam. Uh, the fashion radar... No. That doesn't really help my astronaut at all. It says choice between victory chocolate or freedom pipe. Instead oh. of a fucking star tent. I am... Wait, I did am... you get rid of one of Scott's answers but leave the other one? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I am way, way against drugs. Huh. There you go. It's got to be... <laughs> The, the victory chocolate. Yeah. So yeah, good, so fun fun playing with you. And I will see you next time. Okay. Yeah, see you later, man. Take it easy. Bye. Bye-bye.